What in God's name is he talking about? This is hard to watch. You ever seen this kind of shit before? Oh, I've never seen him like this. Money back. <laughs> Everybody's stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Chris and Ash. Chris is an ass. Ashley's a dumb dumb. <laughs> uh, my name's Larry. No, your name, Dum Dum. Oh, you in trouble, Dum Dum. You better Chris run, is run. An ass. Ashley's a dumb dumb. Hey guys, so this next reference requires a bit more explanation than usual. It's a reference so subtle I'm not even sure if it's a reference. Now Until Dawn pays homage to 80s, 90s slasher horror, but at one point I think it makes a reference to a horror TV show, that TV show being Hannibal. So this reference is comprised of two parts, the first part being the antler. So Until Dawn has a lot of deer and antler imagery. For example, this scene with Matt and Emily, and the countless jump scares they fit in. Ah! Oh! Are you in the trees? Ah! Like Until Dawn, Hannibal also has antler and deer imagery, most notably in the Stagman. In the show, the Stagman is a hallucination, much like Dr. Hill in Until Dawn. In the second time we meet Dr. Hill, he pauses briefly in front of the antlers behind him on the wall. This is the only meeting in which the antlers appear. And the second part of the reference is the music. The music in the background is a piece from Johann Buck's Goldberg Variations. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set. In the season 2 finale of Hannibal, this same piece of music was used, it was just slowed down. That was quite a long time to explain such a, a small reference, but I thank you guys for sticking in there with me. So I hope you guys like the video, and thanks for watching. <laughs>